just evolved your home for Halo. Hi everyone and welcome back to another video here on the Podcast Evolved YouTube channel. Today we are taking a look at the last of the Wave 1 2 packs from the Jazzwares World of Halo line. The UNSC Marine vs the Grunt Conscript. And this is one which I have been incredibly excited to get my hands on. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to like it, and also subscribe to Podcast Evolve for more videos in the future. As you can see, the packaging is what we have come to expect from the Jazzwares World of Halo line. Because this is a Wave 1 figure, we don't have the presence of other figures in the assortment on the back, but rather we just have a render of the Master Chief. The UNSC Marine in this set uses a similar colour scheme to the Wave 1 figure, featuring the same forest style BDUs and also green and brown armour that we've come to expect. There are several differences with this figure, however. Compared to Wave 1, this figure has shin armour, making it feel more up-armoured when compared to the last figure. It also has additional pouches on its left hip, something which the normal release of the figure doesn't have. There are also additional pouches on the chest armour here, in lieu of a knife sheath seen on the single release figure, and the figure also features additional armour around the mouth. This marine is a really really great distinct variant, and I love the included battle rifle with the two tone paint application that it has included on it. The Grunt Conscript is also a fantastic variant, featuring the traditional orange colour scheme for the Grunt. There are some fantastic paint applications across this figure, including additional paint around the mask, and also some additional depth packed into the methane pack to really make this figure feel detailed. There is also a surprising amount of articulation packed into the grunt, allowing for lots of dynamic posing, and also allowing us to position this figure on the prior released Ghost as well. The grunt includes the needler and this is a great weapon, with the transparent pink needles on the weapon in particular looking really, really good. Overall, this 2-pack is incredible. Getting a marine and a grunt, the army builder for each Halo faction in one package is really, really cool. The distinctive details on the marine make it worth tracking down compared to the single carded variant, and the grunt is a wonderful addition to the collection. I am really, really impressed with this pack, and I absolutely recommend that you track one down before it disappears from shelves. That's my thoughts, but I would love to hear from you. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and stay tuned for more content in the near future. As always, Evolved!